Hey, what's going on everyone? Today we're going to talk about the same thing as yesterday, Microsoft Games. Real quick, I'm hosting a giveaway for Rust and City Skylines. It's ending in three days, so make sure you join up before it's too late. Link is in the description. Anyways, just today, pretty much when this video publishes on YouTube, you'll be able to buy Quantum Break on Steam. Turns out Quantum Break was only a timed exclusive with Xbox, and we got it on PC. That alone was something to be happy for, but it was on the Windows 10 store only. Now it's coming out on Steam about 6 months later. So then, what about other Windows 10 store games like Halo 5 Forge and Forza Horizon 3? This definitely makes me excited for these games because if they do come to Steam, they will likely be patched into stable performance by then just like Quantum Break. But AMD fans, hold up. It looks like the Steam version of Quantum Break is using DX11 only or something else is going on. Look at these pictures. This one was done by GameGPU.com and it's going over performance for Quantum Break DX12 from the Windows Store. We see the Fury X is getting 68 FPS, the 290X is getting 52 FPS, and the 380X is getting 40 FPS. Not too bad, but good enough performance for 1080p. Now we look at GameGPU's benchmark for the Steam version of Quantum Break and we look at the same GPUs. The Fury X went from 68 to 66 FPS, the 290X dropped from 52 to 45 FPS, and the 380X went from 40 to 37 FPS. So there's a small drop in performance. We also see that Nvidia cards like the 980Ti and 780Ti make a pretty good jump of about 8 to 9 FPS going from the Windows 10 copy to the Steam version. This is just about how we'd expect Nvidia cards to work on DX11 and would you look at that. Just now I'm seeing this and I feel kind of dumb but whatever. This game will work on DX11 as we see here and we even get to use Windows 7 so yay about that. But has DX12 been abandoned entirely by this game? Even in the recommended specs, they recommend Windows 10 but the DirectX version is still DX11. By the time you're watching this, we should know for sure if DX12 has been wiped but I guess just let this be a heads up that it may not have DX12 though to be fair it doesn't look like AMD cards lose much FPS anyways. This now gives me hope that other Windows 10 exclusives will come to Steam eventually so is it time to get hyped yet? Not sure, we'll have to see, sadly. Anyways thanks for watching the video, make sure you join the giveaway in the description before it's too late. Subscribe and like this video to show your support and again thanks for watching, have a great day.